Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Space Engineers. Um, today I'm going to be showing you a couple of fighters. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I will show you actually this Sidewinder first. This is uh, my attempt at recreating a Sidewinder from Elite Dangerous. Um, it, with the limitations in Space Engineers, in order for me to keep things to a size that's even somewhat manageable, um, this is about the best I can do. Um, if we go, you know, you got your, um, the landing gear is what's really cool about this. I have a camera block down there so you can see whether or not they're up or down. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get in first. You know, I have a panel for these, uh, doors so you actually can enter through the back here. Um, this button right here is actually a emergency power shutdown. Um, there are reactors here and they're all connected by connectors it goes down and these are some small containers that you can um, you know tries to automate things a little bit you still have to go to each side in order to kind of get all that going um, but yeah um, it should work um, overall pretty well um, and this thing has quite a few features so I will start showing those now so we'll go ahead and start with number one that will turn the power back on um, I'm actually gonna go going to show you guys um, one of the cameras so two boop boop two and it'll show them that uh, changing the uh, the doors closing now what the developers I believe are going to try to do soon is they're going to make pa um, it so that you can actually control your ship through these cameras but right now you cannot so we have the doors closed we're uh, almost ready here we're going to turn our ignition on um, the reason I have all this separated out and I make it um, a little bit more complicated is because I always loved, um, you know, games like DCS, um, Warthog, and Isle 2 Sturmovic. I, I just love kind of those in-depth study sims and, you know, pressing 17 buttons to, you know, to turn your engines on is just uh, something I've always loved. So um, you'll probably notice that there are a few mods in use here, um, the small ship glass and... Um, the thrusters, actually all of the thrusters are um, modded and the landing gear themselves are also modded. So, um, and you also see um, my hard points are also modded. So if we go to my weapons section, which would be to hit the, um, the period key and you get this. This is the weapons kind of outlook system. and this so boom they pop out just like the hard points and this is actually using the um, hover bike uh, guns and pew 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 and then when you're done you just kind of put it back and it, it goes through um, another thing uh, that I really liked about this um, uh, was I really wanted to get everything kind of you know compact so the new landing gear that I saw before um, go down here so if you hit number four it does that now that the engines are on I'll go up like this you can um, you can use the camera what I usually do is I use the camera like when I'm landing um, in order to actually see what's going on um, underneath my craft to make sure I actually have put them down because it's you can't you can't see them in this mode and I like using the uh, first person mode um, so if you go and you hit period key again um, it'll show camera number one. Um, even moving around the mouse using alt doesn't actually work here. Um, but you can get a sense of whether or not they're up or down, and I'm sure there'll be some movement um, in the future when the devs get to that. So we'll go here, and um, I'll hit uh, tab so you can see the, uh, the outside of the ship. Sorry, V to do that. Um, and I think it's number five. Yep, and they just kind of fold underneath there and I put that block there so you can lock them in place so they don't swing anywhere if you end up you know getting in a in a dog fight um, one of the cons to this ship one of the major ones is look how slow the acceleration is I guess in a sense it's kind of like the elite dangerous sidewinder um, in that regard but um, I just think this ship is really cool I've always kind of enjoyed um, these ships did I I turned off that stuff yeah I was like what was happening what's happening okay so yeah you turn it around head back towards the antenna down there 
Timothy were picking up some more speed. Um, and I'll switch to my weapon systems. I'll hit one. There we go, get right up on this guy. Deliberately not shooting directly at that ship, but it's very, you know, maneuverable and controllable. Here, I'll, I'll blow this up. There we go. See, it's you know, reasonably powerful, I think. Um, we'll go down here, and I'll actually show the next feature I have. I haven't tested this particular part out very much. It's one of the last things I added before I wanted to do the showcase. Um, probably be a little bit easier if we do this in third person mode. You'll see um, if we go up here, I'll hit tab and I turn number six on. It turns on the artificial, um, the artificial masses, which you'll notice I'm slowly descending on my own. This is kind of like a landing assist, so if I hit four and then five, it also looks really cool. Like if I do this and then Go, go, um, hit, hit five and then one. Wait, ah, I messed it up. Oh well. Um, no, that was two anyway. Yeah. Let's see, I'll go here and I'll hit five, this, this, and one. And you'll see, yeah, the landing gear goes up. It's it's something I think adds just a little bit to the immersion and increases, you know, like safety and things like that. Because we always like safety. Well, most of the time. So go to this, have those artificial masses on. The second you hit C, you're automatically going to start dropping at that rate. You see the thrusters on the bottom doing, doing their business there. And you could even just kind of ride this down. Like, I'll make it even go a little bit faster. And look at number one. And even if you're off center a little bit, you can kind of watch it um, hit the ground, and it kind of forces the ship because I built it mostly at the um, the main body's center of mass. Um, yeah, it'll just kind of do its thing there. See, as it's slowly kind of getting itself um, situated properly, the Again, I hate having that text up. I really, I'm, there probably is a way to do this where you, you can kind of fix that. And you just kind of make sure you're all set. I'll uh, go back to the main control section. Hit four. That'll lock the legs in place. And then even if you hit five to rotate, you're uh, not really going anywhere. Turn off the gravity. Uh, turn there, turn off the engines, and turn off the power. You don't even have to do it that way if you really wanted to. You know, you're on your way out. Boom. And you're done. So that's the uh, Sidewinder prototype that I made. This is entirely, almost entirely made of mods. Um, um, I wish there was a mod that would come out that would replace these with something a little bit more durable because I kind of think that they're like giant, um, you know, they're conveyors, but they kind of look like those uh, belt-fed machine guns. These kind of look like, you know, bullet belts from far away. Um, got some ejectors um, here so that you could, you know, pull out chaff or make it a little harder. Um, but you'll notice in, in stark contrast to the, uh, the last ship, I undo the, uh, and you'll see, just look at the speed on this, ridiculously fast. Kind of get around really well and I'll take a few passes of this ship. Oh! <laughs> Let's see what happened. Oh, I just... <laughs> Always so entertaining. Oh yeah, I think the doors just came off there. One of my landing gears still 
actually out. Let's see what's happening here. My jetpack, oh, my jetpack's not even on. There we go. Let's see what the damage is. Mostly totaled, I want to say. I wonder if there's even a way for me to get to the cockpit if it's still intact. It's another reason I just love this game. Just look at the carnage. And honestly, it took quite a few um, uh, bullet hits to it before it really kind of gave out. And um, let me actually exit. Do not save changes. Load world mod fighters. back again. Um, go out through here. So we can access it through there. Turn that off. I'm actually going to see if I ram it from the back if it'll keep the cockpit intact. Because that's really, you know, that's probably the way you're mostly going to get attacked in that thing, just because it's so slow and something like this is so much quicker. I think I... <laughs> I hit it pretty good. That's flying off a bit. Ooh, really did take out the doors there. That cockpit is still intact. Could probably get in it and try and salvage this. Alright, we're inside. Number three's on. Yeah, we just did it. So yeah, an impact like that, which would destroy a fighter, you actually have, you know, a snowball's chance. Um, actually, no, that's a, that's a terrible example. Forget I said that. You, you actually have somewhat of a chance to, to survive something like this. You know, you've lost your main thrust, you've lost, you know, a lot of, um, your, your overall power, but this could still be brought back and repaired, for the most part. I don't really see anything that's, you know, so crippling that it wouldn't, um, you know, continue to serve you pretty well. Um, so that's mostly what I wanted to show off, is I want to show off that other mod fighter that I have. It's, you know, looks pretty cool, um, has a decent amount of weapons, um, and as well as this, um, which I'm hoping to put on the Steam Workshop if people like it. Um, I may actually go and, um, you know, the area down here, um, angle that a little bit like the one in Elite Dangerous actually is, but um, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. So um, that's probably it for this one, guys. Um, leave a like if you liked, and I will see you next time.